All right, good morning, Year 8. A quick introduction to your uh, PIC programming project that you guys are going to be doing. So your teacher will explain to you how to open uh, this file here. But essentially what you're seeing on the screen is a model, if you like, of what I've just brought up on my web camera here. Um, your project over the next, I think, six weeks or so is you are going to learn how to uh, program this point of sale advertising display. Um, in this case, it's for Coca-Cola, but I think we've got ones for Formula One, um, WWF. I think we've got another one as well. And the idea is this uh, little display is for advertising a product. Say a bottle of Coke. Now, unfortunately, I've got a, a pen at the moment because I don't have a bottle of Coke. But uh, it's got LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. There's a speaker built into it. There are three buttons. Uh, there's a light sensor, which is currently underneath my pen. And then this little dial here for adjusting. And I'm going to teach you different skills over the next few um, few weeks, but it's your jobs uh, to use those skills to basically build a display as I am going to demonstrate to you now. Okay. Now I've programmed this one already so that if I uh, pick up the pen, oh, it helps if I download the program. I will try that. Sorry. So I'm going to click run live. And what I'm actually doing here, it's a good time to show you. Um, you'll be writing a program as flowcharts and that will look terrifying at the moment but we'll build up to it but I'm going to put that program onto my chip and it's going to take it through a little cable which you can just see on the side here there we go and whatever's on your computer will be downloaded into your device through that cable okay there we go so in theory now if I pick that up Great timing. <clears throat> and we'll put that back. Okay, so one of the things you'll be programming is getting a circuit to respond to light. Um, we're also going to be teaching how to control LEDs. So in this case, each of my buttons will choose a different flashing light pattern. So I can choose that one. Uh, I can also change the speed of them by turning this dial here. Hopefully that will pick up in the video so I can slow them down or speed them up. Okay, likewise I can turn that pattern off or I can choose a different lighting pattern so this one alternates. Again, you can change the speed. And then the third switch. Okay, so this does them in a sort of chaser pattern. There we go. So the idea is basically you will be programming this over the next few weeks. Uh, learning the skills that I teach you over the next few videos that are linked in this playlist. Um, now, the real deal is once you've programmed it to actually download it to this thing and try it out in real life. However, you are also able to simulate your program on the screen here. So for instance, if I press play and push one of my buttons, there we go, the lights will behave as they would do in the real one. Cancel them, alternating, in a line, Okay, and likewise, if I make the light sensor exposed to light, we get the sound. Okay, that's all I'm going to show you in this video. It's just to give you a brief introduction, but that is basically your goal, to program one of these point-of-sale displays. Uh, step by step, starting with the basics, learning about lights, then learning about sound, then learning about switches. Um, you're going to keep a note of your um, flow charts, and then you're going to build up to programming uh, the actual project, like you see in front of you there. And then in the last lesson, you'll be demonstrating that to your teacher and your peers. Um, anyway, have fun. Do watch the videos that are coming up step by step and do a little bit yourself. Um, don't try and jump in and do watch the whole video straight away. Watch a little bit of the video, repeat that step yourself, unpause the video, do it again, etc, etc. If you do that... Uh, and do it in little chunks, you'll be able to build up to something that works like this, okay? Um, the reason we're learning about these things, by the way, if you go on to choose electronics as one of your options later in year eight, uh, sorry, when you go into year nine, you can actually build these little chips into your products that you're making and make them do a lot more impressive things. Um, it's not just lights you can control, you can control motors as well, make things move, so really, really powerful devices. That's why we're introducing them to you in this project in year eight. All right, good luck. 